Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com. Let's take a look at the chart for ITUB. Now, this is a chart going back to January 26th of 2018. I was saving this chart because I wanted to make a video pretty much discussing the concept and the need for the stock to hold above 69.1, which might explain why in the month of January we had a nice gain of about 30%. As the RSI was moving above 69.1 now the trick was if the stock was to do well now keep in mind you can see here where the stock had its biggest success came when it was holding above 69.1 so I was gonna make a video discussing this need for the stock to hold above 69.1 otherwise failure to hold above this level was going to be a red flag. All right, so now fast forward to the, by the way, notice here we have uniform activity rejection at the 69.1 threshold. So the stock was rejected there. And of course, we can see what happened. We get this monthly closing high and a substantial drop. Now, of course, the market was also very bearish in this time period. So it's not like the stock was just dropping on its own energies. The general energy was very bearish in 2008, but we all know that. So now here we can see that the general market coming into January was also very bullish. So the stock was responding also to general market sentiment. Now, fast forward to the current chart. And this is now February 2nd, 2018. This is live trading. So let me update that. Now you can see what's going on here is as of right now, the first two trading sessions of February 2018, the stock is back below 69.1 on the monthly, which is not a good sign. So the more this is confirmed as resistance, the more the stock is failing to move above 69.1 is more reminiscent of this period here where we saw a major high. Just something to keep in mind. Now let me draw another line. And this is more, we could call this an arbitrary line because there's no basis for the line until we see how the line is predictive of what has happened since 2003 I'm gonna draw the line like that so just bear with me and let's see what happens here when we use this chart for guidance or the line for guidance we drop below here which is this sell signal we move back above the line which is this re-entry back in the stock for a move higher we show support on the line here for the lows of 2010 support here for the lows right there we break below that for this break and a move lower uniform activity rejection here for that monthly closing high and now it is giving us a sell signal so food for thought and let's be honest Pretty much we are all at the mercy of the general market. One of the reasons why the stock is pulling back is because the general market is starting to also show signs of pulling back at the current time. So there you have it. That's my two cents on the technicals as far as the long time picture is concerned for ITUB. Eric Mwadet, mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see, S, and so it is. <laughs>